Hi, and welcome to City A Go Go, coming to you from Top Pot Donuts on Fifth Avenue. We've got a cool mix of stuff to show you this month, and we'll start with a new production from the Seattle Children's Theater. If you have to address it, do so during homeroom. On the bus, it has to sit on the fourth seat on the left. Shape of a Girl is a piece that was written in response to um, an action that took place in Victoria, B.C., where a young girl was beaten to death by a group of girls. Bullied to death, girls killing girls. These are the headlines. These are what put us on the map, like the Stanley Cup riots, only worse, way worse. The articles go on and on to talk about how girls are getting meaner, the attacks more vicious. In the play, Brady, a 15-year-old girl, is examining her life and looking at her relationships with her friends in light of that Adrian information Washington and how they treat each other, so um, how they exclude each other, how they love each other, all those things that all teenage girls uh, go through. Yesterday means nothing now. It means nothing that we spent all day together Sunday and had a good time. There is a brand new code every day. I spend most of my time trying to figure out what the code is. If there's one thing I would like an audience member to take away from this play, it's that a door has been opened to discussion with their family, with their children, with their parents, um, that they can recognize some of themselves in the piece and it can lead to changes in their lives. Next, a journey to the center with artist Roger Feldman. The name of the piece is Center, and it is about finding a quiet place within oneself. The structure of the piece has a protection element to it, and an isolation element, while uh, allowing access from different vantage points. People will need to walk around the entire piece to find those entry points. Their degree of interaction uh, how much they want to interact um, reveals something about the person. And so uh, uh, most people will interact and really have to contemplate and think, uh, what, what is this? What's this about? Hopefully they'll sit and um, listen and um, be inside and feel it. But when I interview them, after I tell them to go uh, interact with the piece, Nine times out of ten, they can tell me exactly what the piece was about. They just didn't believe that they knew it. And now, for the details. One, two, three, four. Don't miss The Shape of a Girl running now through April 4th at the Seattle Children's Theater. Reserve your seat at sct.org. Experience artist Roger Feldman's installation piece, Center, at the Tacoma Art Museum April 17th through August 29th. More information is at rogerfeldman.com. Local actor and playwright David Scully premieres his newest work, Anglos in Africa and the Last Days of Theater, on April 2nd and 3rd as part of the 2004 Fringe Act Festival. Find out more at acttheater.org. Book It Repertory Theater's powerful production of Cry, the Beloved Country runs March 12th through April 10th. Reserve your seat by calling 217-0833. And finally, the world premiere of The O'Connor Girls, written by local actor turned playwright Katie Forget, hits the Leo K stage at the Seattle Repertory Theater March 13th through April 10th. Call 443-2222 for more. Miss something? Not to worry. Go to seattlechannel.org and click on City A Go Go. And that's it for this month. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, we encourage you to get out there, try something new, and experience the awesome power of art. We'll see you next time. Does this donut make me look fat? <laughs>